I'm Donna Porsner. Today I'm in Setauket, New York to celebrate creativity, diversity, and style at the Gallery North 34th Annual Art Show. It's one of the largest art festivals of its kind, featuring more than 150 artists from up and down the eastern seaboard. They represent a variety of disciplines from painting, ceramics, glass, to handcrafts. Each artist has his or her own reason for participating. Let's find out more. It's a lovely place to get out, see stuff that's really handmade, it's not mass produced, it's made by the artists themselves. You know, so much stuff that you buy is really mass produced. There's a lovely feeling of community in these shows. The vendors all help each other. You know, it's not cutthroat in any way. When we first started doing this, everybody came out to help us. And you see really unique work. What I do is I mix, rather than mixing the colors, I build the colors. First of all, I put a layer of pink, then a layer of blue, and a layer of purple, so that you actually look through the color rather than having a mixed color, which gives it that luminous kind of a quality. I enjoy what I do. It's and it's always changing because I keep you know, finding a new piece and I get a bit of inspiration. The weather changes, the season changes, and the colors all change for me. Originally, I'm from Denmark, but I live in, outside of Albany. Yeah. What do you have here today? I have pottery, uh, all kinds of different pottery, uh, high-fired reduction pottery, raku, saga-fired, uh, oxidation-fired pottery. And you make this all in your own home? Yeah, I have a studio next to my house. How do you make pottery? Well, you get some clay, throw it on the wheel, and start making a shape. Then you dry it, um, trim it, put it in the kiln, and, and bisque fire it. Then you take it out again, put a glaze on it, and then you put it in the kiln again. For 10 years, I've come to this show. And it's a way of showing people what you do, and, and so you, you can sell your things and get money to support your habit of making more things. <laughs> so that's how it works. It's a passion, and uh, recently I thought that uh, mm -hmm. I might as well hang some up on a wall and see what happens. How are our shows for you? Are you very successful at them? I'm not successful, but I'm not disappointed um, because it gives me a chance to have people see me and say they like it. I love that's a great payment right there. We're from New Jersey, but uh, we do shows all up and down the East Coast. Uh, we start in May, usually, uh, in Virginia, and then we go everywhere. We were out to Michigan this year. In February, we were in Florida, and we just go from state to state, whichever is the, the best art show for us. So we paint these together, which is a little bit unusual. Lynn usually paints uh, during the morning hours. I usually paint at night. So we go back and forth, the painting would go from her easel to my easel and, and back and forth until it's finished. We both feel it's, feel it's finished and then that's it. This is really great for us, you know, it's a social event as well as a way to sell our work. And also we become very good friends with the people who collect us. Well, I'm a lamp worker. That means that I work behind a lamp blowing glass, basically. Glass tubing I make into different um, items like foot vases and uh, goblets and things of that nature. This is a passion that I've, I've picked up over the years and it's, uh, it's fun. It's a nice hobby. I only pick the art shows that are, are juried, that are really nice, and I really have a good time with the artists. That's one of the, the pleasures of going to these shows. You get a chance to see different artists in different medium and, you know, talk to them and, and, talk, and have a good time. And it's, uh, it's, it's quite enjoyable in the summertime. I had the opportunity to speak with Betty Goldberg, who sits on the board of directors for Gallery North. Betty, how did this event get started? It, it started, I think, the first year the gallery opened as an opportunity to show more work than we could show indoors in the gallery. And it started as what was then called a clothesline show. And I'm not sure if there was literally a clothesline, but there may have been where um, paintings were tacked up on a, on a rod and there were maybe 20 artists, whereas now we have had as many as 200 for, for recent shows. What did Gallery North see as the main advantage to the community? It was an opportunity to show work from a larger area than we ordinarily draw from as far as artists are concerned. The artists from the outdoor art show are from the whole tri-state area. They come from Connecticut, from New Jersey, from up and down the East Coast, so it's a much larger 
uh, opportunity for people to see more crafts, more artwork, and to choose for themselves in a very informal setting. What criteria do you use in selecting artists? It's a very open opportunity for artists. We ask that artists submit original work only. That is the main standard. And it's wonderful for the gallery because in the nature of a gallery, you, you have to be very selective because of your space limitations. For the outdoor art show, we really want anyone who would like to enter to be able to enter it. And so while they are required to send in slides, it's not a juried show in the traditional sense. Well, the show is for the public, so let's see what they think. Well, I've been coming to the show for a few years, and um, I really, I, I love the work. I think um, there's, you know, quality artwork here, and um, I, I look forward to it. It's, it's not your typical um, craft fair. I think there's some really um, different um, types of work, and I, I enjoy the artists. The artists seem to be really uh, good ones. They have a, a variety of uh, things that um, I didn't expect to see, so I'm enjoying it. I like the cars and the rocks. Uh, I think it's good. It's good for public relations, it's good for people, and uh, as I say, I still think it's fun. We try and come every year, and it's such a lovely day. It's just a wonderful day to be out looking at all the beautiful things they have here. For 25 years we've been doing this. <laughs> My mother is also an artist, so she has a particular interest in pottery. She does pottery, yeah. So we're always looking. We came out to look at the local artists and to see a lot of the artwork from Long Island. And my mom's an artist, so came out to see some people that she knows here and just to pick up some local things for the house. My wife and I come here every year. Keep watching the paper to see if it's, uh, you know, when it's it's on, we love it. And, uh, I always manage to pick something up. Uh, either some pottery for her or for me, it was a pair of cufflinks this year. Just love coming. It's usually a beautiful day, so we enjoy it very much. I'm into a different type of jewelry, so, you know, I came looking for some jewelry today. That's about my sister's birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great time today. Thanks for joining us. And remember, go out and support your local artists.